We are glad to welcome you on the Hard Reset YouTube channel and today I will show how you can use the virtual joystick for this or on this uh, DJI RC2 gimbal. So to start obviously you will need to launch the Ronin application. Uh, I would assume that by now you have already set it up, connected it with your gimbal and this step is out of the way. If not, if you experience any issues with interconnecting the gimbal with your phone or perhaps you just want to get some help on this topic, we have the separate video about it when I show how you can well connect them and set everything up. So check that video out if necessary. Anyway, so once the Ronin app is launched, enter the create section here and then you'll find the virtual joystick. And now, uh, not only you can use this joystick to move your gimbal around, so as you can see, I'm changing the tilt of my camera. This way, I'll change the camera pan. You can also change the altitude or the roll, as you can see, by moving this adjustment bar here. Well, yeah, pretty much altitude just means roll plus pan. Uh, what else? You can also adjust the pan tilt and rolling speed uh, separately. So if you would like for the tilt to be very quick, for example, let's check if I will, if I were to set it up all the way to 100, as you can see, it happens like uh, blazingly, blazing fast. Uh, the same goes for pan, for example, if I were to crank up the pan all the way to its top maximum speed value, as you can see, it will happen very quickly. And well, the same goes for everything else. You can also change the smoothness, so let me quickly show how the uh, best possible smoothness uh, looks. For example, for the tilt axis, so if I were to set the tilt all the way to the 30, as you can see, it will move very smoothly and gradually. Uh, here you can also start recording by tapping at this record button. Mm. You can also well, change this button from record video to take a picture by tapping at this icon here. And you can also get a uh, camera back to its default position by tapping at the recenter option here. But you can also do that through double clicking the trigger button in front. So that's up to you what particular uh, uh, method you'll use to well, put your camera into its default position. Anyway, as far as the virtual joystick goes, that'll be it. So, Thanks for watching, thanks for your attention and bye bye.